Hello, lovely people. Today I bring to you my current favorite skincare. Well, it's my current favorite that I have been using over the past month or so. And to be honest, some of these products um, have been staples of mine for a very, very long time. So let's dive into what I'm using right now, day and night. Let's start off with cleansers. Apologies for the barefaced. I have pretty much not really been putting on a lot of makeup these days. I have been just kind of um, in a bit of a panic state at the moment, um, caring for a sick bunny who is going through a um, tough time at the moment. So yeah, and hence I haven't really been doing many videos. So apologies for the slowdown and I hope you all have been well. Okay, so starting with skincare, I have three products that I'm currently using and I actually just got this out of my drawer which has been sitting in my drawer, no joke, for about a year and I suddenly realized that I had it and it was my favorite product back in the day and I'm so glad that I found it because I was cleaning my drawers and yeah, lo and behold, I have the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser. Now, this one is by uh, the Youth to the People, I believe. Yeah, sorry, I can't really read at the moment. I don't have my reading glasses. But um, I'll just pop it out. So it's a beautiful green gel cleanser. It comes with a pump. And I'm so happy that I found this because, honestly, for the past year, I've been buying alternate cleansers and I always wanted to get this, but it's just in my humble opinion very very expensive however i don't know why i say that when i'm going to talk to you about my most recent purchase of a cleanser that's expensive but anyway the youth to the people this is gorgeous it's it's just so lovely at removing makeup grime which is what you want it to do I love the scent of this, it's so refreshing and I feel like I'm just putting a load of goodness onto my face when I cleanse. So they have actually dumped in a bit of a sample in this box. The Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream, which is a little sample that I've, I have tried a bigger sample than this in a little tub that it comes with. Sometimes they throw in samples from Sephora and sometimes when I order stuff from Beautylish they put in a, a bigger sample of this moisturizer in here and it's really lovely but it's not something that I would reach out and get because I do have a, a better moisturizer that I like to use on a daily basis but this one here's got the ashwagandha plus reishi pentapeptide <laughs> and yeah so that's that one there so I will put this back in its box for now because I will use it, but it has been one of my favorite cleansers over the years for many, many, many years now. And I can't rate it highly enough. The kale and green tea spinach vitamins gel cleanser. I have been using this product for the past two weeks and I'm absolutely loving it. It's got a gorgeous scent. It is mainly adapted from plants and it is a very green product if you know what i mean however it is excellent it does contain synthetic ingredients in there as well glycolic acids and all that sort of stuff it's just a beautiful smoothing non-stripping cleanser and it was given to me by my brother and it's called the liberty bell rx by dr chris moss plastic surgeon braveheart cleanser and this here is Deep Clean Botanical Foaming Gel Cleanser, AMPM, made in Australia. And it does come with a pump. You only need to do two pumps of this and it lathers up into a really nice foam. Do not put it near your eyes because it will sting. Not that I've actually put it in my eyes because I know that it says do not put near your eyes. But yeah, you just got to be careful you don't put this one in the eyes. And I'm really kind of like, you know, with this... You can put it all over. I mean, this one even says don't put it on your eyes, but it's so gentle. I do put it on my eyes and it doesn't really do anything. So, you know, but don't, just be careful. 
with any cleanser you don't really want to like you know take it and rub it deep into your your eyelids because obviously it will sting and um one cleanser that i do have in the shower it's the glow recipe blueberry bounce foaming gel cleanser that's in the shower there's only like about that much it's the it's the one that comes in a purple gel pretty much i love that one i'm not going to repurchase it again only because i thought i'd use it up but that's the one that actually got into my eye and i pretty much had a red eyeball for 24 hours because the gel splashed into my eye when i was emulsifying in my palms like that and i when i came to put it on my face the gel flicked into my eye and boy oh boy i was under the shower for like almost two hours just trying to flush it out and then and then it just kept weeping and it was awful absolutely awful so this is beautiful now this one here um it is only sold through the liberty bell website i believe i think pretty sure i'm not too sure actually i don't know but um, this is a deep clean botanical foaming gel cleanser and it removes makeup excess oil and impurities unclogs pores clarifies and refreshes boosts radiance non-stripping infused with botanicals wet face and gently massage onto skin avoiding eye area rinse thoroughly and follow with your liberty rx regime vegan friendly so yeah this is a gorgeous cleanser love it now the one that i have most recently purchased and has been a bit of a splurge but Honestly, when I tell you only you need to use like not even a pea-sized amount, you really do not need to use any more than that because it just does such a wonderful job of foaming and it's got like these little granules that aren't even harsh on the skin whatsoever and I love it. If you can guess what I'm talking about, it's the Tatcha the Rice Wash. I got the, I think this is like the limited edition large size so i think this was is it 114 dollars? i think can't remember but um it's soft cream cleanser a ph neutral cream cleanser that gently purifies while moisturizing to use add water to create a rich foam and massage onto the face and then rinse so guys i've been loving this i love the scent of it it's sort of like got like a menthol um feel to it but it's not menthol if you know what i mean it's just luxurious to say the least it is beautiful it removes makeup sunscreen you name it now i don't put this on my eyes although i do gently go over the eyelids with it but i don't put it on the lashes so they don't even mention really anything about this to be avoided in the eye area much like the glow recipe blueberry bounce they don't even say avoid eye area with that one like that should come with a warning that product i feel that this product should come with a warning as well only because it feels like it's got that menthol feel to it a bit of a cooling sensation but i can tell you that i love it i feel like i am just having a wonderful time moisturizing washing my face with this it's not even a moisturizer it's it's just a beautiful foam cleanser and yeah so comes in a little um flip top like that and you just kind of squirt it out it's like a little oh look a little bit out there but mm, beautiful product i love it the tatcha the rice well tatcha the rice wash now moving on to vitamin c cleansers this is one that i use in the shower and it's the frank body gentle cleansing oh hang on sorry my apologies let's go into a cleansing oil this one here i use if i have like a really 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 full full face of makeup i'm talking like heavy mascara heavy shadow thick foundation you name it just packed on so this one here by frank body the cleansing oil is beautiful just one pump of this and you put it in the palm of your hand rub your palms together put it over your face and massage 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 all that 
mascara and foundation sunscreen you name it off i do follow in with a, another cleanser after i use this oil and yeah but in terms of being very very um like non-irritating i like putting this anywhere on your eyes is fine you're not going to get cloudy vision or i haven't experienced cloudy vision with it at all because some of the oils that i have used in the past um, really do give me like cloudy vision. I'm talking like those papaya balms and um, yeah, there's other ones that you use that are just like a balm and even some oils, they really tend to irritate my eyes and give me that cloudy vision. However, with this, it does not. So the Frank Body, the cleansing oil, why am I calling everything the Frank Body, the cleansing oil? Beautiful product. I will talk about... Um, this product also there is a version of this he's in shower as well it's a vitamin c well it's a vitamin c product so you squirt the vitamin c out of this pump and you rub it together on your face avoiding the eyes so while you're in the shower you can leave it on for two to five minutes and let the vitamin c gel work in i love it it's so easy to use and it's like a thick jelly it's just pretty much infusing your face with like a hit of vitamin c so i use that in the shower and i love it and that is pretty much my power hit of vitamin c if i need to put anything on my face now these products i use not every day and like i'm talking like i use them in the night but these are the products that i like to use in the night time and we're talking about moisturizers first the Sonzi Super Serum Moisturizer. Now, this product, I bought it initially when it first came out and I have this much remaining. I don't use it every day. I like, I'm one of these people that likes to alternate moisturizers. It's just how I am. I don't like to just have one moisturizer. I get really bored. I just, I just get really, really bored using the same products over and over again. So I alternate between Sonzi uh, this one's the Super Balm, sorry, the Super Serum. And it's beautiful just as an all-over moisturizer using using it day or night. This uh, brand is co-founded uh, by Pamela Anderson. And uh, yeah, so she's got another two products that come with this. It's the Super... This, well, this is a Super Serum. The other one is the... It's like a... Um, a super mask it's a it's a mask that you can put on the face and the other one is the lip balm so love both of the products love all the products actually but i use this more than the other products because i don't really use lip balm that much and i don't really uh, need to use a thick face mask as such i do tend to use it on my elbows and on my ankles because it's very very moisturizing but i think you can actually with the the thicker mask that it comes with, you could um, slug with it, I suppose. Um, when I say slug, you know how some people put like Vaseline on their face and just pack it on and pack it on and pack it on and just sleep with it overnight. If you've got really intensely dehydrated skin, then you could do that with that mask as well. Then my holy grail of moisturizers, and honestly, this has been like, I think my fourth or fifth purchase over the years it's the first impression it's the priming hydrating moisturizer by mecca max and this honestly i just bought this one today and because i just finished my other one still got the cap on it um, but it's the most beautiful moisturizer i've ever used it's so hydrating and it's so light and it's fluffy it's got a beautiful scent and what i love about it is it's got basically it just says it's a derma drenching skin quenching moisturizer with four types of hyaluronic acid squalene and black baltic moss so yeah have you guys tried this i really really love it highly recommend it it's 24 australian dollars and basically mecca max is a company that is uh australian new zealand and uh, I believe you can only purchase it online or in store. So, and when I say online, I'm talking like physically from the Mecca Cosmetica website.
I don't think you can find it anywhere else. All right, so now we're moving on to some specialty products. Now, this one I recently have come across. It's a nice cinnamide brightening toner used in conjunction with the discoloration correcting serum by Good Molecules. Now, these two products are products from a company called Beautylish based in America. And this is like a toner. So it consists of nice cinnamide, vitamin C, licorice root, and you put it on a cotton pad or a reusable cotton pad and you put it over the whole face and it's supposed to lighten brown spots. I am not consistent with it, but I love it. It feels so nice and refreshing. Once it dries, you then go in with this product here, which is a brown spot, a brown spot, <laughs> a brown spot corrector. And it pretty much comes in a dropper like this and you put it, you can target it just on the brown spots if you want, or you can put it all over your face. Now, once you've put it all over your face, you just let it dry and you can follow in with your moisturizer if you wish. I usually don't. I usually I usually like to just leave it on there. Um, like the, which I don't have here, the Paula's Choice BHA 2% liquid um, acid, the BHA Cecilic Acid 2%, that one. I finished it. I haven't ordered any more. I need to pick some more up, but it's the, I like the liquid version, not the gel excellent for um, declogging the skin getting rid of blackheads whiteheads and pretty much just acting as your physical um, exfoliator but anyway back to these two products they work so well together i actually got this as a bundle set this is beautiful and no i haven't had any reaction to it whatsoever and it is just wonderful i'm pretty sure that if i was to use this every day my brown spots would have been probably a lot more faded. I do have a blemish there. It's a stress blemish, and I do have another blemish right here, pimple, um, because I've just been really stressed out. So, yeah. But anyway, these two products are amazing. Now, if I'm not using this, I will either go in with a retinol product, which is the Drunk Elephant Muratin oil and this one here is beautiful two to three drops of it into your moisturizer which i would mix with this is also wonderful as you know just keeping your skin nice and plump uh, wrinkle free yeah two to three drops of this mixed in with the moisturizer works a treat and just absolutely love it you know sometimes i do go a little bit ham with this and put like five drops because I feel like two to three drops is not enough but honestly you only just need the two to three drops of this. I think it's the only Drunk Elephant product that I'm actually using at the moment besides the deodorant and I do love Drunk Elephant products in general although I haven't had a good experience with either of their eye creams um, but I do pretty much like their whole range in terms of cleansers, uh, moisturizers, um, but I just haven't been I haven't been purchasing them But this is the only product that I have at the moment that I'm using on my face I did use up a sample of this and I really enjoyed it So I purchased the full size of this and I love it absolutely great I don't find that it's very harsh at all um, If you've got very sensitive skin and you are just starting off with a uh, retinoid product then This is perfect. Honestly when I'm gua sha <laughs> I'm using the gua sha tool, um, which I haven't been doing. And as you can see, I haven't been gua sha -ing. I just haven't been a gua sha person in a while because I've just been very lazy. And I'm sure that if I was gua sha I would have a much more tight face. But if I was going to be using the tool, I would be using it with the Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Facial Oil, which is this one here. And basically this one here is just, you're all over. I can't read guys, I'm so sorry, but it's just a beautiful hydrating oil. And you would put it all over your face after cleansing. Then you would get your Gua Sha tool and you would work that oil in with the Gua Sha tool and um, reapply as needed. And this would be perfect for people who have uh, oily to combination and dry skin but if you're very very oily I'd say probably um, maybe try a lighter product um, one that I could recommend is the Mecca Cosmetica facial oil that is beautiful it's very light 
um, I do find that you need to, um, because it absorbs so quickly, you do need to put like probably about 10 drops um, for it to be a little bit slippery and you can work that gua sha tool in. I mean, you can use oils without that tool, but if you are using a tool on your face and you need an oil, this one here by Good Molecules is perfect. Again, this one is um, only, this one here can only be purchased uh, by going onto the Beautylish website and yeah, so love it. Guys, on alternate nights when I'm not using any kind of retinol product, or brown spot corrector product I go in with this thing <laughs> by the ordinary this blue alien of a product here the copper peptide which has basically been my second purchase um, now Desiem is the company that owns the ordinary and I use their original copper peptide um, tube and it didn't really look i don't find it did really anything but this one i find does now this one here is the buffet plus copper peptide one percent and it's the multi-technology peptide serum basically they don't give you many instructions on how to use this but you could use it am or pm and or both I suppose meant to be just a serum that you could put on underneath your moisturizer. I wouldn't mix this with any retinol product. I wouldn't mix it with any vitamin C product. Um, I'm not an expert when it comes to mixing this product with anything. I use it on its own, only with moisturizer. Sometimes I will forego the moisturizer in the night and I'll just use this on its own. And what I do find that is it leaves a bit of a tacky finish on your skin but it leaves it nice and plump and it leaves it nice and hydrated and I really don't know what it's doing but I love it because it's blue and I feel like I'm doing something good for my skin when I use it I know it's so stupid to say that but I believe um, copper peptides are almost like a collagen boosting ingredient for the skin now if I'm wrong please correct me leave it in the comments below tell me if you use this product what do you use it for what do you find that it does for your skin other than the fact that it gives you a bit of a a nice feel that you're doing something good to the skin because of the fact that it's got this gorgeous blue hue to it and i feel like i'm putting alien juice on my skin and it feels great but i love it so much it doesn't stink like the other copper peptide tube that I used up um, it's a lot more concentrated the other version and a lot more expensive but I found that it didn't really do much and it was quite oily on my skin it left a very very oily finish even though I used to use a very tiny amount uh, but with this I just used two to three drops and it does a beautiful job I don't know what it does I feel like it might fade brown spots um, but nevertheless um, I don't know if I'll continue to repurchase it. It is like my second time that I've purchased it. And I don't know, there's something about it. I feel like it's doing something for my skin, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Finally, my holy grail of eye creams at the moment, and it's not even a cream, it's an eye gel, and it's the Clinique Moisturizing Surge Eye. And this is their latest one. It's got these um, little um peptides in there that burst when they come out and i've been putting that as a gel underneath the eyes it is very tacky so don't overdo it only put like a really really small drop and then put it between your fingers and then dab it but um, when i say that it gives like a beautiful um, feeling like it's tightening the skin um it tightens the skin and it works really well under any kind of concealer it doesn't pill up and um, if you are using it, just use it in the night. And if in the morning you're going in with makeup, don't put it on again. I mean, you can if you want to, but I find that it just sticks until you wash it off, like snail serum. Not that I've used snail serum, but this is what I feel like it would be like. So it's a beautiful, beautiful product. And I feel like it's just doing wonders for my skin. I really just wanna see, um, it's ophthalmologist tested, so that's a good thing. 
100% fragrance free. Break the spheres before applying. Massage all around the eye area. So pretty much around there and up over the orbital bone. That completes my day and night skincare that I've been using. I am not very hesitant to purchase new products when it come out, but when you have a good thing going on with your skincare, I like to stick to it. And by the way, I found that some products do break me out like the L to MD SPF 46 sunscreen, the one that is not the real one that I used to buy. There's one sunscreen, I'm not talking about sunscreens today, but because um, I am still using L to MD SPF 46, but um, the other one used to break me out, which is a different version. And also the SEO, um, the SOS spray by Tau 24, it breaks me out. I'm no longer using it. I don't know why, but it stinks like bleach. And yeah, at first I thought it was doing such a great thing for my skin until a week later I had pimples coming out and I was like, no, nah, I'm not using you read some reviews on it and other people too have experienced breakouts with it so there you go guys well thank you so much for watching let me know what your current skincare regime is at the moment and what you've been loving what you've been not so loving and i will see you all again in my next video bye for now bye